the 7 star cinderace raid. You know, after asking for a challenge, this was a nice step up from the charizard raid. It actually required me to switch up some of my original ideas and required some strategy which was hella fun. But seeing that I have no friends, that did not stop me from finding a way to solo this raid consistently. But before we get into that, we are so close to 10,000 subs, so all I'm asking is you click that little red button down there, it would help out greatly. And sorry if I sound nasally this vid, I am so sick. But with that out of the way, no bullshit. Let's get into it. Alright, you guys know the drill on how we do these. Let's go over his moveset. So the 7 star Cinderace, level 100, max IVs, blah blah blah. His moveset according to Cerebi is high jump kick, pyro ball, acrobatics, iron head, and bulk up. So very physically offensive with access to setup, which is kinda terrifying. Speaking of which, the way Cinderace starts this raid, similar to Charizard, is on turn 0, meaning before you can do anything, he will use bulk up, which increases his attack and defense by one stage. And he can do this over and over again, and on some turns, he can do it twice in one turn. So at least to me, that scratches physical attackers off the list of Pokemon that you would use to solo this raid. And it also leads to another unique strategy that can only be done in solo raids, and that is trying to get an AI with Intimidate on your team. Now as I've said before, when AI dies in a solo raid, it does not affect the timer at all. And on top of that, every time the AI with Intimidate dies, when it revives and comes back into the raid, it'll activate Intimidate again. So so it's just a nice little way of keeping the Cinderace at either minus attack or neutral attack at all times. And you don't need to do this, it just helps the raid go by a little smoother. Okay, now on to my choice of Pokemon. So my first thought when it came to physical bulk, being a special attacker, and resisting his moveset, was none other than Slowbro. Now the reason I chose Slowbro over Armourouge, who pretty much has the same moveset plus a little bit higher special attack, is simply because Slowbro seemed to be way more consistent in dealing and taking damage. That is literally it. So with that being said, here's the moveset. I went for Slack Off, Iron Defense, Nasty Plot, and Stored Power. I was actually thinking of replacing Slack Off with Chilling Water just in case after it cleanses I would have to drop its attack, but honestly Slowbro kills Cinderace so fast that I would never really have a situation where I would have to heal or drop its attack. Alright, now that you guys know the moveset, here's what I try and do for the turn order. So like I said, on turn 0, Cinderace will always use bulk up. So all I have to do is match that by using Iron Defense 3 turns, then Nasty Plot 3 turns, and then I'll just spam Store Power until he's dead. And I'll always be healed because of Shell Bell. And now a quick important tip, make sure you guys listen up for this. Now it seems that Cinderace's Shield, Cleanse, and Nullify all act on a timer-based basis similar to Charizard, but they seem to act a lot faster than Charizard did. So when you're going through the turn order that I just gave you, make sure you're picking your moves relatively fast in order to dodge most of these events. And with all that being said, if you follow everything I just told you, you should be able to farm this raid relatively easy by yourself. Alright, enough talking. Let's watch some goddamn gameplay. Huge. So Raptor. It's just not on my screen. <laughs> God, this is one of those moments I wish Trick... If Trick worked on raid bosses... Holy shit. Oh, I got the double in him. I got a four of and an Arcanine. Oh, there. Oh, there. That is that nice. That is nice. So trick endeavor. Turn one. Oh, the tragedy. Alright, I'm plus 6 on both special attack and fizz death. I feel like the store power is about to do some numbers. Wait. Oh, he's about to speed. Alright, here we go. Oh my Jesus! I found the method. I found the method. I have found the method. Holy! That is indeed the method. Truly, truly. 
truly the meth. Okay, okay, he's using the infinite bulk up glitch. This is fun. Look at that. Yep. Oh my god, Slowbro is the goat. He is simply the goat. And then he missed high jump kick. Oh my god, that actually hurt. For him. Yeah, Slowbro is doing numbers to this thing. Double bulk ups. Yeah, Nasty Plot Slowbro is definitely the play. For sure. Nasty plot is definitely the play. Sad it doesn't have counter. Hunter would have nullified that immediately. Oh my god, that stored power does so much. God, the stored power does so much, dude. It's actually insane. I'll see how much this high jump kick does. Nothing. Terran sword power and he falls over. Slowbro is on demon time for soloing these, holy. Okay, let's see if this still works. Um... So the way you usually go about locking in a offline team is you can go offline first of 